our biggest turning point this season, we scored um, to go up 3-2 against one of the top five teams in the nation here at Yoast. Down there, we scored about 37 seconds left in the game, and that's when we knew we had something special. Um, so we also scored with seven seconds left down in Arizona, playing Arizona State. We scored with seven seconds left after giving up a goal with two minutes left in the game. Um, so just a lot of resiliency in our team. Um, and I think a lot of that is from the grit that these women have experienced in their time as female hockey players. So our first drill that we're gonna work on, um, it's gonna be a 1v1, almost like a phone booth style. So in order to score goals, you have to have possession of the puck, right? So what we're gonna be working on here, the women's game is a little different. There's still body contact, but you obviously can't body check somebody into the boards. So what I, my style of play and what I talk to our players about, some players are a little hesitant to go in the corner and experience that body contact, but that's part of the game now. It's getting more and more physical. So what we're gonna have here is just a 1v1 in the corner, working on possessing the puck, shielding. You're gonna be trying defending, prevent him from getting to the net. So I just want you to go back and forth on the boards for about 15 seconds, and then try and get to the net for a quick shot. Good, we'll have the next two hop in. Still 1v1. You got a puck? So obviously in the women's game, it's a little different um, because there is no body checking. So here we're building you know, getting the players used to contact, you can go ahead. Getting them used to contact and creating that sense of urgency, getting them to drive to the net while under pressure. We'll go one more and then move into 2v2. And also, this is an opportunity. I know you all just worked on spin outs too. So this is a great opportunity. Obviously, if they commit, you can spin out and attack the net. Yep, we need two more, 2v2. So here, we're building up progression. So we had a 1v1. Now we have a 2v2, one puck. So we have two players trying to attack the net and two trying to defend. So they can move around. But ideally, we want to make a move to the net quickly. We'll let you go for about 15 seconds and make a move because we want to create that sense of urgency, shielding the puck, looking for that passing lane to the net. So head on a swivel as well. There you go, attack. Nice. 2v2 again. Okay, so go about 10, 15 seconds, try to move the puck a little bit, and then attack the net. Another thing I teach my players too, um, for, I don't really know what it is, I haven't really figured it out yet, I'm always trying to figure stuff out. So our women, they're so talkative off the ice, but as soon as we get on the ice, everything just stops. So we preach communication, but here now I'm starting to hear, I'm starting to hear more, which I really like. Um, but communication, without it, nothing will happen. So player without the puck, you can tell your teammate, you know, drive, drive, drive. If you see something, if you see he's gonna be that defender. So let's try and pick up the communication a little bit. 